Prime Minister Raila Odinga arrived in the U.S. on Sunday for a series of meetings aimed at improving business relations between the two countries. While addressing Kenyans living in the diaspora, the Premier reminded them of the strides the country is making in the implementation of the new constitution. As we are moving on with the implementation of the constitution, we also of course are moving on with the reviving and reforming our economy. Our aim is to go beyond 10% for us to be able to achieve the Vision 2030. Ryland noted the big contribution from the diaspora during the run-up to the referendum vote. It took us nearly 20 years as Kenyans to get a new constitution. We had had so many false starts. But finally, Kenyans voted overwhelmingly on the 4th of August last year to give birth to the new constitution. So therefore, we really need to thank all of you for the effort that you put into it. But it cannot be lost on Kenyans that the constitution implementation process has suffered setbacks that have slowed down the process, threatening to derail it. Parliament has twice suffered a quorum hitch during key debates, forcing it to adjourn early. The process has been occasionally shadowed by the run-up to the mention of the case for the six top Kenyans at the International Criminal Court at The Hague. The week-long visit will see the Premier address the African Investment Conference in New York City on Monday, where he will be making a case to chief executives of major U.S. companies for more and better trade investment with Kenya and Africa at large. While in New York, the PM will also meet former U.S. President Bill Clinton and U.S. Secretary General Ban Ki-moon. A number of government officials from Vision 2030, Ministry of Trade, Council for Science and Technology and Brand Kenya are accompanying the PM on this visit.